What a beautiful night last night for that kind of yeah. thing. It was gorgeous outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, warm, a little humid, but changes are coming. For us, it was almost fall. Business as usual yes. in South Texas, definitely last night. So we're going to uh, definitely have a big weather change heading into this coming evening. Very big weather change. I can't understate that enough. Here's a look at our map right now. This bluish purple color, that's actually a winter weather advisory over in the Big Bend of Texas. Nothing like that is headed our way, but we do have some of these cooler temperatures beginning to work down right to the edge of our area. You can see the very tip of those temperatures starting to come into the very northern counties of the coastal bend. Thankfully, we're not going to get quite into the lower 30s and 20s like our friends in the Panhandle have, but our temperatures are definitely going to take a tumble as we head into this evening. We're already in the beginning of this timing window here. I do expect that cold front to come through Corpus Christi about 7 to 10 o'clock and then offshore by midnight. This again going to bring a very big temperature drop from 90 this afternoon into the 40s by tomorrow morning. We're already going to be in the 60s by midnight here in Corpus Christi. So a very big temperature drop, especially when you consider the afternoon temperatures, almost 40 degree difference from this afternoon to tomorrow afternoon. That is all going to be courtesy of very strong northerly winds and with that we do actually have a wind advisory issued for our coastal counties as well as the islands that's going to kick into effect at 1 a.m and run until 1 a.m on tuesday morning so with that we've got colder temperatures and uh, really strong winds. So here's something that we haven't seen in a while, a wind chill. It's going to feel like we're in the lower 40s and mid 40s all day tomorrow, thanks to those cool winds. So let's time it out for you right here. Kicking it off in about 15, 20 minutes from now. That cold front coming through and off of the coastal bend by about midnight. It's going to bring clouds with it as well as those scattered showers. This is going to be lighter showers as opposed to heavy downpours and thunderstorms. There could be a straight th uh, rumble of thunder along the cold front line, but I do think most of it is going to be the lighter shower activity in the lower and uh, lower 50s, upper 40s tomorrow morning and then into the afternoon. We don't really change all that much thanks to all of the clouds and rain. So I don't really expect too much in terms of rainfall accumulation, a couple tenths of an inch because this is going to be lighter rainfall. So by Halloween, temperatures are still chilly in the afternoon, 57. That could be the coolest Halloween on record for Corpus Christi. That record set all the way back in 1895. So we've got that cold front coming through a big dome of cooler air. And right now we've got all this warm air right here in the coastal bend right now, and that has to go somewhere. So it's going to go up on top of this dome of cooler air. And when that's going to happen, this is why we're seeing those cloudy skies roll in with the cold front is that makes all of the humidity condense out of that warmer air. And that's going to lead to the drizzly kind of damp conditions that we're going to see here over the next day or so. Tonight, rain chances go up and they last through tomorrow. Those are looking like our highest rain chances about 50 to 60 percent dropping to 30 percent on Tuesday and for Tuesday those rain chances they're mainly in the morning and early afternoon so I do expect things to start clearing up just in time for trick-or-treating not only the rain chances but the skies as well that is going to let temperatures really take a tumble into Halloween evening and not only the temperatures but the feels like temperatures in the 40s possibly even into the 30s so very very cold here coming up not quite as cold as we could be getting so if you're not not a fan of the cool weather at least take that as the silver lining 48 tonight heading into tomorrow morning you'll definitely want to send the kids to school with a jacket and an umbrella it's going to be cool all day long not very much temperature variation from the morning to the afternoon here's a look at high temperatures I bet you haven't seen cool colors on this map in quite some time 52 for us in Corpus Christi over the next several days it's going to remain chilly you'll see those low temperatures on the lower side but the warmer temperatures are definitely coming back by the end of the week Brian thank you Kristen